Hello all, welcome to the official demo of Ultimate POS. In today's demo, we will look into the AI Assistant module for Ultimate POS. So using this AI Assistant module, you can do a variety of different different things inside POS system. So we use the power of artificial intelligence provided by leading platform called as OpenAI. Using this OpenAI, we help you create proposals, memos, knowledge base, project description, product description, and social media posts, financial reports, and a lot of different things which will be we will be adding in the future releases. So we need latest version of Ultimate POS, which is Ultimate POS 5.0 or higher than 5.0, and we use OpenAI API details to create to use this power of artificial intelligence so first you have to sign up into the openai just go to platform.openai.com and here create your account so after creating your account just go to the settings and copy the organization id from here and paste it inside the env file so here inside the env file i will paste the organization id and then I will go to my my API keys and from this API key I have to just create new API key from here and I have to copy this API key and paste it over here. So after I have added this OpenAI API key and OpenAI organization and after I have installed this AI assistant module so we are ready to start using this module. So first thing, if you are using the super admin module, just go to your packages and go to edit package. Inside the edit package, just enable this AI assistant module, this checkbox and add a token usage limit. So how many tokens will be used in this particular package? So using this, you can provide number of token limits to every user who is subscribed to this particular package. So after this, just save, click on update existing subscription and save it. So if you are not using the super admin module, you don't have to follow this step to create packages. So after you have installed this and done the configuration in the package, just go to your AI assistant menu from the left hand side and you will see a list of different different tools which is provided to you and here in the top you will see the number of token limit so my token limit was 5000 and the remaining token limit is 4739 out of 5000 token mm. so let us look into one of these let us look into the brand or product description so i will go to this brand and product description create and here you can see like uh, we have to provide brand or product name we have to provide some description of that particular thing. So first I will enter ultimate POS here, cloud based point of shell application. So you can use, uh, you can enter any of your product name here and just enter a small description. and click on create so if you click on create you just have to wait for a few seconds and you will see a professional looking product description will be created using the power of artificial intelligence so you can see like here we have got a professional crafted product description here so introducing ultimate POS the cloud base so you can see like we have got a short description here you can click on this copy icon and it will be copied to your clipboard. And also you can see all your generation history inside this history tab. So if I will go inside my history tab, here I can see all the different inputs, what all outputs I am provided, which I am getting tools and the date and time which it, it was created and created by. So let us go to the AI assistant module once again and let us try with a different thing. 
So if suppose we want to create product review generator, if you want to create a review of some particular product, let us go to create here and and for different different tools, you will be seeing different inputs here. Just enter what do you like about the product. So I will just enter all these things and click on create. So after clicking on create, we just have to wait for a few seconds and we will get a professionally crafted review which we can use in different different places. So yes, you can see like we have got a review here which we can copy paste and use it in different different platforms for example in social medias or in Amazon or other different marketplaces. Similarly, we have review response. So if someone has given any review, you can just copy paste the review here and it will be providing you a professionally looking response to that particular review. You can have social media posts, Google ads, Facebook ads, email, proposals and knowledge base. So let us look into the email ones, how we can create an email. So all these things are really required for any kind of business. They will be needing tools to they will be needing tools to write emails, social media posts, promotions and all these things. So let us go to the email once again and let us try to craft an email. So send a name is John. This is, for example, I'm writing here John CEO of Recipient is team product manager. What is the email about? And we have to select a tone here polite, persuasive, professional. So I will just select the tone as professional and we have to provide an what is the email, what is this particular email about. <clears throat> so once again, we have to just wait for a few minutes and you will see like we will get a subject line here request for assistant with product feature and you can see like it is completely producing an email for us. So you can just copy paste this email and directly use. You will save a lot of time and the email will be very professionally crafted. So using this, you can also generate proposals which you are sending to different businesses, proposals to do businesses with them. And you can create knowledge base which can be used by your staffs or your employees to do something. So this is how the AI system module works. Let us, so you can see like the number of tokens, it has been decreased here. So right now we have 3788 tokens because we use some of the tokens in some of these generations. So if I will go to my history once again, here in the history tab, I will be seeing all the different inputs, what all, what was the output. So this was the input I used to create the email and this was the output. So this was the input I used to create a review and this was the output. You can see list of all the inputs and outputs here. So this is how you can use the AI assistant module and it's one of a good feature to have this AI assistant inside the POS system. And I really hope this will help many businesses to create different different contents for their business and in the future we will be adding some of more tools based on business requirement and we are working on creating reports so using this tool you can create reports which will help you to make some decisions related to your businesses and yeah that's all in this AI system module I hope you find it really helpful thank you